Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to understand that how we can prepare EMI calculator as well as loan statement in MS Excel. To prepare EMI calculator and to prepare the loan statement, today we are going to use totally three formulas and they are PMT formula. First, we use the PMT formula which is used to calculate EMI, equated monthly installments. And we also use a formula PPMT which gives you the principal value out of the EMI. And we also use IPMT formula which is used to calculate interest out of the EMI. So first we start with a preparing EMI calculator. And to get the EMI calculator, remember we, we required principal value and we, we required the repayment period tenure in months and we required rate of interest per month. So first I'm going to select the principal value cell and I'm going to convert the cell status from general to number as I'm going to enter the principal value as it is a number. And here I'm going to let's say there is a loan amount around 10 lakhs. So we're going to take the loan of around 10 lakhs. Tenure in years, the repayment period, maybe around 5 years, like 10 years and 20 years. So we need to convert that, you know, we need to convert the total years that will be multiplied by 12. So in order to calculate EMI, we require the tenure, the repayment period only in months, but not in years. If it is given in years, it is mandatory to convert into months. And even the rate of interest per annum and again rate of interest per month, you first select the two cells and change the status from general to percentage. Yeah. So let's take an example. There is around a 12% interest per annum and then that has to be converted into okay 12 percent divided by 12 months so monthly interest is around a one percent if the decimal places are not increased use the you know decimal places increaser you just keep at least two decimal places in order to calculate the emi so i'm going i'm going to keep at least two decimal places if rate of interest is around 9.5 percent per annum which gives you 0.79 percent per month yeah so now we have the information principal value tenure in months as well as rate of interest per month so with this data you can calculate emi so here here i'm going to start the formula e equals to minus pmt i'm using the word i'm using the character minus to get a positive result because emi is outstanding which gives you the minus value to make it you know to make it positive value i'm going to use a minus within the formula so equals to minus pmt open bracket and here what is asking the syntax rate what is the rate of interest per month comma next what number of installments n per the number of repayment period in months that is 60 comma pv principal value select the principal value and directly close the bracket and press the enter that how simple we can calculate and by default it is going to show you the currency of USD to make it an you know, Indian currency you also can press control plus one and go to currency and here I'm going to select the Indian currency I'm going to select you know uh, rupee in English India then click on OK and that will be converted into now so if you take the loan of 10 lakhs which you are going to repay in 60 months which means five years and the interest is 9.5 percent per annum and 0.79 is a month and the, your emi was around 21,001 rupee and now here we need to calculate the total outstanding how so every month you are going to pay 21,000 likely 60 months so b7 multiplied by b4 so you are going to repay totally 12,60,000 111 rupees so if you take the loan of 10 lakhs you need to make the payment monthly 21,000 likely for 60 months and you are going to repay totally 12 lakhs 60,111 rupees and the total interest how you calculate total interest principal value total uh, total outstanding minus principal value total outstanding minus principal value and you are going to pay the interest of 2,60,111 rupees and of course you can control the decimal places by increasing them or even decreasing them now we are we are going to prepare the loan statement we'll see that how we can prepare a loan statement so first i'm just going to hide this 
ribbon display option auto hide ribbon now the ribbon has been hidden so that i can put more focus on the excel worksheet so here we need to calculate installment number so how you are going to clear in totally 60 months right so here i need to create totally 60 months and here i'm going to type number one and again select this cell and press shortcut key alt h f i yes if you're not able to remember this you know very lengthy shortcut keys then you do one thing show tabs and ribbons simply select that number one and go to home tab and go to fill and go to series or else you also can memorize your own shortcut keys just press alt it is going to show you something and to go to home tab press h and to go to fill f i and to get series yes that is the shortcut key that i remember i am just using the same and here how you want to fill the installment number i want to fill the install number by columns and i want to start from one and i want to calculate for 60 months so step value one stop value 60 then click on ok so automatically the 60 installment numbers will be calculated here automatically next date so now here i want to fill the date so to fill the date very simple control plus one and go to select date first and i click on sample and here i want to keep only months and as well as year m m m m dash years so only months and years so here if you confirm let's say june 2022 that is june 2022 so i'm just going to double click on it to calculate the total months automatically and that's it and then i'm going to calculate the emi and then here we have emi and e emi equals to emi amount 21000 so i'm just going to drag it but if you enter a simple address as simple emi equals to emi amount in future if you drag down the formula to plus one cell it is also collect the input from plus one cell so to collect absolute difference and this is actually known as you know if you already attended my previous classes you are you, you will be understanding what is you know relative reference and what is the absolute difference so if you enter a simple address okay emi equals to 21,001 rupee then enter if you drag down the formula to plus one cell it also collect the input from plus one cell that is relative references and to convert a relative reference into absolute reference e equals to emi equals to 21,000 and press f4 to lock the cell column as well as row so now it is going instead of saying b7 now it is taking dollar b and then dollar seven and simply just double click on the loan statement so entirely it is going to take the same input from the same cell b7 so we use the shortcut key f4 to log the inputs yeah and that is actually known as absolute reference next here to calculate principal we use a formula of ppmt and to calculate the principal we have a very simple formula e equals to minus ppmt open bracket e equals to minus ppmt open bracket select rate of interest as the input is available in a single cell we need to log the input f4 comma installment number as every month installment number will get changed as inputs are going to be changed on monthly basis so that is a simple address that is a relative reference normal a12 comma next what total number of months the total number of months are what 60 and that 60 address is, is b4 to lock the b4 address press f4 comma and we have the last one that is a principal value select a principal value as a principal value also available in a single cell to lock the address press f4 and then close the bracket so that how simple it is so out of 21,000, first you are going to pay 13,085 rupees you can you know you can change the currency values as well no problem i'll select the same control plus one i'm going to choose the currency symbol as indian currency then click on ok and that will be converted 
and then simply double click on the cell so it is going to copy to the entire and you do remember at 60th month automatically your EMI amount goes to zero so in the last month you are going to pay 21,000 and principal you are going to pay 20,836 then the remaining will be paying as a interest yes yeah. so again select interest cell what is the formula minus IPMT only one character has to be changed the same formula but here in this IPMT we replace P with a I that that is only the new thing and the rest of the things are same so here again interest interest equals to minus interest equals to minus IPMT open bracket rate of interest per month single input so log the cell comma EMI number every month it is going to change so relative reference normal address comma total number of installments 60 locked address comma principal value again lock address then close the bracket so out of 21,000 13,000 principal and then 7,916 is the interest control plus one format cell and as a currency select the currency symbol and select the Indian currency symbol then click on OK and then simply double click on it then automatically it goes to zero in the last month out of 21,000 20,836 is the principal and then 164 is the AMI amount then again come back and here the closing outstanding the closing outstanding equals to what is opening outstanding total outstanding 12 lakh 60,000 minus first month EMI 21,000 so the closing outstanding is 12 lakhs 39,000 and the second month closing how come first month closing outstanding minus second month EMI so second month closing and again simply double click on it to get it so at 60th month automatically your outstanding goes to zero I'll show you at 60th at 60th EMI number on May 27 that mean 2027 you are you are going to pay 21,000 and it is going to up to 20,836 then 164 then your EMI amount goes to zero now how we can expand the report let's take an example you are going to take the loan of home loan which is around a 50 lakhs and then you are going to repay in around a maximum of 20 years and let's say the interest is around 8.3 percentage that means 8.30 and so if you take the loan of housing loan for rupees 50 lakhs which is going to repay which you are going to repay in 20 years which means you are going to pay every month 42,760 so likely the total you are going to pay 1 crore 2 lakhs 62,480 so it is going to make you double the payment and you are paying only the interest of 52 lakhs 62,000 for the principal value of 50 lakhs and again I'll expand the inputs yeah that's fine and but if you observe here as we are calculating only up to 60 months it is going to calculate only for 60 months so here again I keep my cursor in number one and press alt plus H F I then S for fill series or else go to the home tab then go to fill then select series then by column from one to total stop value around a 240 then click on ok so the series will go up to 240 right so after going for 240 you can simply just and select the respective cell and simply double click on it double click on it double click on it and then again double click on the last corner again double click at 240 months automatically your liability goes to zero if you observe at 240 month by May 2042 you are going to repay 42,760 and the principal value 42,466 and the total interest 270, 293 and your repayment and your, your, your closing outstanding is zero control home so that how simple we are going to prepare a loan statement in excel application right so this is how simple you are going to prepare a loan statement in excel thank you